Manitoba Liquor Marts presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by foodmanitoba.ca. Local farms, local foods. Hello and welcome. Great to have you. This is Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name's Ace Burpee and this is our home and welcome to it. It's the Manitoba Liquor Mart Grant Park Education Center. Joined this week and I'm very happy because she does a wonderful job. Roxanne Luco, Manitoba hey. Pulse Growers. Good to have you. Thanks. Excited? Good to be here. You bet. All right. And Ben Rush is our product expert, Manitoba Liquor Marts. He's going to pair something to our dishes, which are, run them down. Yeah. First, well, there's a theme. There's a theme. There's a theme. Yes. Pack in pulses for lunch okay. is the theme. The first recipe we're going to make is a chicken and chickpea stew. Uh, nice. It's very hearty. It's full of chickpeas and beans and chicken. Lots of fiber and protein to get you through the afternoon at work. Second recipe are lentil calzones. That sounds good. Did you make that up? No, I didn't. It sounds actually. good. Like yeah. it sounds like it's got massive potential here. Yeah, it's basically like a homemade pizza pop cool. that you can like customize with your own fillings. Right. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. And lastly, we're making oatmeal coconut raisin cookies. They are gluten free and delicious. Because who doesn't fail. like a cookie at lunchtime? All and right, so Ben, you've got a bunch to work with here. Um, what do you want to know about in terms of what flavors we're using or what you want to pick up on? Ask her anything, she knows. Well, the pizza pops I'm cool with. I can, I can sort that out, but I was just curious about the, uh, the chicken and chickpea stew. What kind yes. of flavors are we playing around with here? Yeah, so the stew itself is actually cooked in chicken broth and spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. Um, it's spaghetti sauce of your liking, and it's really the dominant flavor in the whole dish. Ooh. So what I'm going to be using a roasted portobello mushroom spaghetti sauce. Put that and on top. Yes, you top it with Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Got so her. That's probably going to add to flavor it, buddy. too. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. Have fun. All right. Um, we're going to start with the chicken and chickpea stew. This is going to be hearty. It's going to yes. be um, super high in fiber, massively high in protein. This is yes. good for you. I love yes. it. Yes. So we've had, we have some carrots, celery, and onions okay. sautéing in yep. some garlic. You can already smell that. It's you delicious. Can, Entire Grant Park Liquor Mart <laughs> is looking through the window going, hmm. <laughs> it appears there's some garlic in there, and they're into it, and I like it. So to that, once you've sautéed them and they're a bit soft, which they are now, yep. we're going to add a whole schwack of ingredients. Okay. So white kidney beans to start. Um, if you buy them dry, you just got to soak them in water mm -hmm. in the fridge overnight. I bought them canned. Can so we, okay, gotta, so we've got, we've got a whole show, but let's yes. make sure we get in as many pulses as possible, as in. Yes. So name <laughs> is met, you know what I mean? Because we yeah. can fit them all in over an yeah. entire show. Yeah, so, so interesting. Things that qualify as pulses, and by the way, we have in this province over 25, no, it's more than that. It's nearly 3,000. 3,000 pulse growers in this yeah. wonderful province of ours. Who knew, eh? Hey? Yeah. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Um, chickpeas are a pulse. We actually don't grow too many in Manitoba, though. They prefer a very dry climate, uh -huh. and typically Manitoba is just a bit too wet. So we're going to add chickpeas. So lots of pulses in this one. In Manitoba, we grow peas, mostly yellow peas. Um, edible beans, a variety. Um, black beans, kidney beans, yes. pinto beans. Um, oh, gosh, there's like 10 different varieties. And we also actually grow a lot of soybeans in Manitoba. Soybeans are good. Nutritionally, they're not a pulse because by definition, pulses are the dry edible seeds of legume crops. And soybeans have a high oil content, therefore not technically dry. I understand. However, at the pulse growers, they fall under our portfolio, so. You are um, complex and interesting. <laughs> okay, so we've got white kidney beans, chickpeas. Yes. So to this, we're gonna add tubetti pasta, which is really just macaroni cut in half essentially it's very yeah. small it's really dinky little stuff it is right. and it's actually hard to find in the it store it is tricky yeah you can use macaroni in place of this pasta okay and if you want to make it even healthier go whole whole wheat or whole grain or multi-grain or can add that we're gonna add our chicken broth this is some sort we'll of hearty stew broth. and while this we add good. that we'll actually take this turn send, up the heat send this with your children to school or <laughs> you take it to work or also in the field Ooh, and we're gonna add our spaghetti sauce come on yeah i you know people are probably asking pack and pulses for lunch i'm not gonna make this at lunch no. no you're not but you're gonna make it at home for supper or on the weekend it freezes really well sure it does so freeze it in individual size batches, you know, if you have sour cream containers, yogurt containers, freeze it and then 
Before when you, you go were to bed growing at night, up, take when it you out. were growing up, did you have some pepper? Were you one of those families where the lid never matched what was, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like my mom would always send me something. It was like a yogurt bottom, sour cream top all the time, and the the worst. It was oh, embarrassing. Spillage. Sorry. So to that, we're also going to add some cut up chicken thighs. They're cut up in about um, half inch pieces. We're going to add that. And then you want to turn up the heat to Will bring do. it uh, to a boil. There you okay. go. So stir those in there. This is a good looking stew. It's hearty. I tell you, it's oh, filling. Oh, it smells delicious. All the beans, the chicken, the pasta, it's quite filling. I could get an entire week out of this. Yeah, easily. It is, easily. Um, it is the uh, Manitoba, Manitoba, sorry, Pulse Growers, Roxanne Luca. We started with a very hearty stew. It smells delicious. I'm going to show you like and she said at the beginning, and we're going to uh, sprinkle some Parmesan on top mm -hmm. at the end. And we'll show you what it looks like in just a little bit. But when we return, we are going to make lentil calzones. That's a fun recipe. That is exciting. I'm into that. <laughs> Come right back. We'll be here.